All right, guys, it's been a long day. It's Copper Cutlass, and yeah, I'm sitting at my dinner table. I am enjoying a beer. I'm home, I'm beat. It was a long day. Loaded up at about 11 in the morning. Got to the track about 1. We made our first pass at about 2.30. Uh, Traction-wise, it was our best pass. There was a lot of streetcars, and as you, if you guys know, streetcars with hard tires peel up the rubber and... I was spinning with the radials and I was spinning with the bias plies. Uh, also, it was opening day and it takes the track some time to get good surface traction. So there's that to be said about that. So this is not exactly inconclusive, but um, the car ran good. I'm really, really happy. Uh, second gear with the 456 comes in real fast. And on the first run, which would have been a great run if I nailed the shift flight, uh, I actually hit valve float. Uh, when I looked at the tack, it was at like 7,300, and I was like, oh, crap. And I could hear it popping. Uh, so, uh, but our first run was a 087 light, which wasn't bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. It didn't go red. It was a 158.60 foot. Uh, so the 456 did help. Uh, it was an 1170 pass at 113, and I've got other time slips here to compare from fall testing because we changed our gear ratio. So we were trapping, I think our fastest uh, pass was 115.48, and our fastest mile per hour today was 114.83. Um, and that was uh, actually... Um, yeah, that was our fastest pass. So our fastest pass last fall was in 1151, which I have over here somewhere uh, in this pile of crap. But we'll use this 153 as an example. The 60 foot was a 160. The 330 is a 467. Uh, again, keep in mind that on this run, which was our fastest run, uh, I spun a little bit. Our 60 foot was a 163. Our 330 was a 472 compared to a 470. Uh, and our mile per hour was 114.83. Uh, so compared to like this one, that's a 467. Um, our, our, uh, 330 was a four, it's been a long day, 472, sorry if I'm wandering guys, I'm, I am absolutely beat, I was pushing the car into staging lanes because uh, I had some heat soak and I think I may need to go to E85 to keep the car a little bit cooler, we'll see what happens in the summer, uh, but the car ran good, everything worked out really well, uh, we made four runs, um, What's up, Finnegan? He just he just had his dinner. I haven't even eaten yet. Uh, I just had stacks at the track, and that was that was it. Um, our this was our bias ply run. Uh, o eighty seven light. No, this is not our bias ply run. I am wrong on that. I am. Uh, this is our bias ply run. To force uh, 1175, 11390, 045 light, and a 165, 60 foot. Uh, which again, it all kind of falls into the where we had traction issues, and I can feel the car kind of just get a little bit of tire spin with the radial. I I, I pedaled it. You're usually supposed to like completely let off, but and then with the bias plies, I could definitely feel the car moving around a lot more. Um, but this may be a thing where like the 456 may not be favoring my combination. Um, but we'll see because it's a little inconclusive because of the traction issues, but overall the car ran good. It's like right there. Um, just the bite wasn't there. I think, um, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, there was some nine second cars there. But I really wasn't watching. I was there solo. So I was constantly back and forth doing things. I did 
I did set the timing back on the bias ply run. And, uh, but I, on that one, I'm pretty sure I spun too. Uh, we had 12 pounds of pressure in the slicks and I went 65, 60. Uh, it kind of, it felt a little bit poochier. Uh, but the car did good. Everything stayed together. You know, we didn't hurt anything. And, um, the most important part is that it's in, it's in one piece and everything seems to be working well. Um, we're going to probably hit the track again and, uh, see what happens, but, uh, I may need to run a taller tire. I may need to run like a 30 inch tall slick to get that gear ratio back down to like 430, which is fine. Uh, I knew going into it that I had options. So there's that. I think you just kind of hit of a, uh, hit a little bit of a, uh, brick wall, but I will say that the 456 gear definitely helped get the car off the line how it used to it felt good it didn't feel poochy it was launching really good uh so there was that uh the, there was an improvement there uh the weather today was really good uh on our first run the density altitude was negative 100 then by the end of the day it was about 300 um so you know it was in the 50s uh, I think last fall when we ran, we ran on cooler days. That has a lot to do with it as well, but we didn't change the tune or anything. Uh, the car just, it was happy. It seemed to run really good. Everything was together. And I figured I would give you guys this kind of like bench race update on uh, today. I wish I had videos, but I'll just put up whatever pictures I got with a little bit of music. Um, again, I'm tired, um, beat, uh, and uh, I was there solo. I had no help at all. Um, but I had a good time. We're home in one piece. The car is in one piece. And, you know, not much more you can ask for. Uh, it was a good day hitting the track. And at least we know the car is on, uh, good. And the rear end isn't making any noises. Uh, on acceleration or deceleration, everything seems pretty good. The transmission still seems to be holding up fairly well. So, um we're hitting the stripe dead at 7,000 RPM, which is what I assumed it was going to be with the factoring in the converter slip. And um, again, off the line, it's very snappy. It's very good. I may need new rear shocks. I may need new rear tires. I Again, we're going to go out and test again uh, at our home track uh, where the bite is always phenomenal. Uh, so we're going to see what happens then, but I'll let you guys go. Sorry. This one's kind of a little bit boring, but, um, you know, wish I had videos of the car going down the track. All I have is slips and I'm comparing and making notes right now. So, uh, share, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as Copper Cutlass, and we'll see you guys, um, uh, next video. It's been a little bit, but I've been doing a lot of work here and there on, on the trailer and on the car and a lot of little things. So we'll let you go.